In our data-driven world, the exponential growth of digital information is pushing the limits of traditional storage technologies. Existing solutions are struggling to meet the escalating demand for more efficient, long-lasting, and high-capacity storage. What if we told you that there's a new era of technology that could revolutionize data storage as we know it? Welcome to the era of DNA Digital Data Storage where only one gram of our DNA can store 215 petabytes of data. A petabyte is 1,024 terabytes. So, one gram of DNA can store approximately 220,160 terabytes of information. By the end of this video, you will discover the mysteries behind how our DNA can serve as the ultimate data vault, holding unimaginable amounts of information. Let's start. What exactly is DNA Digital Data Storage? DNA Digital Data Storage is a way of storing digital data in our DNA molecules. Imagine turning all the zeros and ones of your files into letters of the DNA code. It's like putting data inside tiny, powerful capsules. This new idea is at the forefront of technology in the 21st century, just like quantum computing and other amazing advancements. DNA is super tiny, but can hold an enormous amount of information, and it can last for a long time without getting messed up. In recent years, the digital universe has experienced an astonishing expansion, driven by our increasing dependence on technology. As we rely on digital data for various aspects of our lives, the demand for efficient and sustainable data storage solutions has soared. While conventional silicon-based storage devices like hard drives and solid-state drives have served us well, they come with inherent limitations that hinder their scalability and long-term viability. However, the tech industry is on the verge of a remarkable transformation as it embraces the revolutionary concept of DNA data storage. This cutting-edge approach utilizes the incredible potential of DNA molecules to store vast amounts of information. Imagine the possibilities of storing entire libraries, archives, and massive data sets in a droplet of liquid DNA. It can hold an astronomical amount of data in a minuscule space, making it the ultimate solution for our ever-growing digital needs. How does it really work, and what can it do? Unlike regular computers that use zeros and ones, DNA uses four letters – adenine, A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, and guanine, G. So, scientists convert the zeros and ones into these DNA letters and create new DNA molecules with the information, just like writing a secret message in a genetic code. DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries the genetic instructions for all living things. It's a super efficient way of storing information and takes up very little space. In fact, just one gram of DNA can hold a staggering amount of data up to 215 petabytes. That's like storing millions of 4K movies in something as tiny as a grain of salt. What DNA data storage does is eliminate problems faced by digital information storage. DNA data storage is an exciting solution that tackles three big problems in storing digital information – capacity, size, and lifespan of storage hardware. We often struggle to store a huge amount of data in a way that's easy to access later. Also, the physical space needed for storage hardware is a challenge, not to mention how long the hardware lasts. But here's the cool part about DNA data storage. It can hold massive amounts of data in super tiny spaces. You can fit almost endless information in just a few grams of DNA. Right now, DNA data storage is still in the early stages. Scientists can manipulate DNA and build it, but using DNA to store digital data is still a big idea that's being explored. Scientists are still trying to figure out how it can be used best. But the potential is mind-blowing. We might one day store all our digital data in the tiniest, most powerful capsules of DNA. How cool is that? How it can be used DNA data storage could be a game-changer for preserving large-scale data archives, such as libraries, historical records, and scientific databases. It can preserve cultural heritage, art, 
music, and literature for future generations. This would safeguard human knowledge and achievements for centuries to come. It can also be used to store emails, photos, and various digital files. Currently, our planet holds around 10 trillion gigabytes of digital data, and every day, humans generate even more, amounting to 2.5 million gigabytes of data. To manage all this information, we rely on massive exabyte data centers. An exabyte is 1 billion gigabytes, which can be as huge as several football fields and cost about $1 billion to set up and keep running. Advantages of DNA Data Storage DNA data storage has a lot of advantages, including number 1. High Storage Capacity DNA storage's biggest perk is its incredible storage density compared to other storage methods. When you store data on the cloud or NAS, it still goes into huge servers and data centers, some as big as football stadiums and super expensive to set up and keep running. But with DNA data storage, you can store massive amounts of data in a tiny space. This means you won't face space issues or running out of storage equipment. It's like fitting a giant library into a little box. So, DNA data storage offers a super efficient way to store loads of information without all the hassle. Number 2. Durability DNA data storage is a real champ when it comes to lasting long. Unlike regular storage methods that can wear out and become outdated as technology advances, DNA is super stable. If you store it right, it can stay intact for thousands of years. It's like keeping your data safe for generations to come. This durability makes DNA data storage perfect for preserving essential historical records, cultural treasures, and scientific data. Imagine passing on valuable knowledge and discoveries to our great-great-great-grandkids and beyond. DNA data storage is a time capsule for our most precious information, ensuring it stays safe and accessible for a long time. Number 3. Replicability Replicability is a cool advantage of DNA data storage. Regular data centers need to copy and transfer data onto new hardware regularly to keep it safe. It's a hassle. But with DNA data storage, replicating data is a breeze. Scientists have found a neat trick. They insert the DNA with stored information into a bacterium. Then, like magic, the bacterium makes copies of itself, passing on the same information to the next generation of bacteria without any mistakes or loss. It's as if DNA data storage has its built-in copy machine. This easy replicability makes it a fantastic solution for preserving our data without the headache of constant transfers. DNA data storage can keep data for the long haul. Number 4. Environmental Sustainability DNA data storage is a total win for the environment. You see, regular storage methods need lots of energy for cooling and maintenance, which can harm the planet. But DNA data storage is way more eco-friendly. It needs way less energy to keep and access data stored in DNA. Plus, the physical space required for DNA storage is super tiny compared to those giant data centers we have now. We can save heaps of energy and reduce the physical space needed, which is great news for our environment. Using DNA data storage is like going green in the tech world. It's a big step towards making our digital world more sustainable and leaving a smaller footprint on the Earth. And now comes the interesting question. What are the limitations of DNA data storage? Well, despite its incredible potential, DNA data storage does come with some limitations that need to be addressed before it becomes a widely used solution. One major drawback is the cost. DNA storage is currently much more expensive than traditional storage methods like hard drives or cloud storage. Creating and storing DNA molecules as well as reading and decoding the data, can be quite costly for many organizations. For instance, storing just one petabyte of data using DNA synthesis and sequencing technologies could cost a staggering $1 trillion, as estimated in a 2021 report from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT. The high cost of synthesizing and sequencing DNA remains a significant hurdle, although advancements in technology are expected to eventually reduce these expenses. 
Another significant limitation of DNA data storage is its slower speed compared to traditional methods. In our fast-paced world, quick data retrieval is crucial for many applications. The process of encoding and decoding data in DNA is currently quite slow. Writing data to DNA involves synthesizing the DNA strands and encoding the data onto them one nucleotide at a time. This can take several hours or even days, making it impractical for situations that require rapid data storage. The overall slow speed of encoding and decoding data in DNA makes it less suitable for scenarios that demand real-time data access and quick retrieval. The Future of DNA Data Storage Many experts believe that DNA data storage is the future of storage. It is a promising solution for today's storage challenges. Although the concept dates back to the 1960s, recent advances in biotechnology and gene sequencing have made it a feasible option for large-scale data storage. Successful data storage in DNA has been studied since the late 20th century, with significant milestones achieved over the years. In 2017, the DNA Fountain Method demonstrated the theoretical maximum for information stored per nucleotide. Later, researchers from Columbia University stored a computer operating system, a movie, and other files, totaling 2.14 by 106 bytes of data, in short DNA molecules using Sudoku-like encoding. Further advancements found that the yin-yang codec system, inspired by Chinese philosophy, improved the robustness of the transcoding process. It allowed high biocompatibility to DNA synthesis and sequencing achieving a close to maximum density of 432.2 EB per gram of DNA by coding data into yeast cells. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.